During this video, we're going to be talking about the membership setup and settings part for your membership website. So right now, here I am, I clicked on membership builder, and then I clicked on step one, membership setup. Now from here, at first, we have some basic membership info. So we have the title for our membership area, the slug or the URL to access our membership website, and the base currency for our membership website. Next up, we have the registration and the checkout settings. The first option is a confirmation required, yes or no. Now, if you set this to yes, this means that new members must confirm their email address only if they signed up for one of your free products, not a paid product. Then we have the minimum password length. If you would like to force them to enable a strong password, which means it must contain at least two capital letters and two numbers. If you would like to display a CAPTCHA when they are registering. And if you would like to enable the auto registration. If you enable the auto registration, this means that their account, including their password, will be auto generated for new members who paid or signed up for your membership via a marketplace or affiliate network like ClickBank, JVZoo, etc. I'm going to leave mine on no for now. And at the bottom here, we have the login and the logout settings. Would you like to enable the brute force notification? So if you set this to yes, that means you will be notified if someone is trying to brute force your membership site login. So I usually recommend we leave this on. And after the logout redirect, you can choose where to direct them. So to the login page or to a custom URL. Once you have all of this information configured, go ahead and click on save settings. And we're going to scroll back up here to the top. And the next option we have here is the email settings. So for the mail server, we have the built-in SMTP. We can enter our from name, which can be our company name, for example, the from email address and our email signature, as well as our business address down here at the bottom. Now, as for the notification emails, we have a welcome email, a confirmation email, forgot password email, a purchase receipt, and a canceled subscription email. We can click on any one of these and customize the information inside of that email. Once you have your emails configured, go ahead and click on save settings.